The link in the description is only there to see the source material. Do not under any circumstance go to these people with the intent to be a dick. I don't support witch hunts or lynch mobbing, so don't be either. As for the subjects themselves, my video is for the purposes of criticism and entertainment. Take care and leave it. My content is not here to start drama. Please do not treat it like it is. Well, that was an interesting project that did exactly what I expected it to do. It's whatever though. I'm just gonna let that shit work itself out while I continue living life and doing videos the way I please. Speaking of which, I was rummaging through the garbage and found this, uh, this thing talking about death battle. Meet Tricky Reborn Studios, a guy whose channel seems to be mostly based around death battle. Why is totally beyond me, but everyone likes their own thing, I guess, which brings me to why I'm covering him. Tricky here made a response to a channel called Yang the Insane, who made a list of the top 8 death battle matchups that they would love to see. And who, boy, if there was ever a time to be a Go Rantimator, it'd be now. For Tricky here is going to miss the purpose of this list entirely. But in any case, let's begin. Oh lord, we're starting off wonderfully, aren't we? Alright, yeah, not everyone's going to have a microphone, so text-based videos will pop up inevitably. But for my videos, that's a problem. So I'm going to do a bit of re-editing to make my video flow better and give a little bit of minimal pizzazz for yours. That said, I do have some actual critique here given your text. Hi, I have trouble differentiating color palette. Certain shades of color blend in with one another and then I become unable to see what's in front of me. Basically, I'm partially colorblind. Now, looking at your text here, holy crap did I have trouble reading that the first time through. Add an outline to your text. I know Movie Maker can do that, and even on the off chance you're not using Movie Maker, I still know Movie Maker can add outlines to text. Literally everything else should be able to do that as well, and if your editor can't, get a better editor. There are more than enough free ones to go around. Shotcut. Just as an example, this color blend pops up several times throughout the original video and makes several things you say lost in translation. So I'll be trying my absolute hardest to read out loud what you have to say so that I can do some visual re-edits. This goes for Yang the Insane too, given that they too have a text-based video. Hey guys, it's Tricky Reborn here, and lately Yang has been a thing now, but I'll get to this point later. Spoiler alert, they never do get to it within part 1 or part 2, so that's totally pointless here. They in fact at the end of part 2 say that they'll save it for another video. Well alright, that's good and all, but then why bring it up in this particular video when you're not going to do anything with it? Whee! Now, if you think the matchups are lame, then you better watch your back, or you know better opponents for them, then please, leave your suggestions in the comment section in even your own matchups. Alright, let's start it up. Number 8, Timmy Turner from the Fairly Odd Parents versus Maxwell from Scribble Knots. Okay, that's an odd one. Like, I don't know, how would this even work? How about you give Yang some time to explain instead of cutting in with practically nothing to say? All this does is pat out an already ridiculously tedious video to watch with more tedium. Okay, this will have to take some explaining, but hear me out. So why would anyone want these two to fight? Well, you see, these two have the power to summon anything they wish or write. The only issue is, they had rules saying that they can't kill. Then why put them in the list? Like, I know that's what you want to see, but if they can't kill, then why have them in the battle? Well, the official rules of their universes basically imply that they can't directly kill. But basically, Timmy Turner can't just wish Maxwell to be dead, and Maxwell can't just write Timmy to be dead. That said, Nothing says their wishes can't indirectly kill anyone, and as far as the death battle rules and death battle series has implied, is one ways to have a victor, with an example. Hell, as far as Scribble Knots goes, you have that ability to kill things with a sword or gun, or whatever, and Timmy has probably more than killed his fair share of things, either in a virtual setting or accidentally in a real world setting. And that implies that the rules are always in place for Timmy, considering they often retcon the rules out of the show every two or three episodes or so. So, what's preventing them from having a death battle outside the people there at Screw Attack maybe simply not wanting to or having better options? Really, nothing. Try again. But this is death battle, which means that they must kill each other. They both can wish for anything and it'll appear, with an almost unlimited arsenal of anything, really this could be the most creative battle as both characters wish for very crazy things. There's just one problem that might say this fight will never happen, because the amount of people that would rather Timmy fight Jimmy Neutron, the boy genius. I feel like Screw Attack would choose that over this one because it's the requested more, hence why it's only at number 8, but it's still a fight that I'd like to see. Alright Tricky, I'm gonna have to leave you to dry right now because I have issues with Yang's video. Yang, in the original video you say that your list is not a prediction video, but instead a list of 8 death battles you want to see. Implying your criteria is how much you want to see these battles, considering you don't actually lay out your criteria to us in the intro. Now, 
Maybe you didn't mean it in this way, but it sounds to me as if you're letting how likely they are to play a factor, which would be important for a prediction list, not really a list telling us battles that you personally want to see. This is a problem given that your list says one thing, but the entries say another. And to that I ask, do you want to see this battle, or do you want to see Timmy Turner versus Jimmy Neutron more? And if it's the latter, why is that not on this list? I don't see it coming true. But anyways, on to the next one. Hey viewers, take a shot every time Tricky interjects with nothing to say. We're at two now. Number seven, Ryu from Street Fighter versus Jin from Tekken. Now, I'm gonna be real here, guys. I hate Tekken, but I like Jin. He's hot, badass, hot, goddamn he's hot. Anyway, he's awesome. I love the guy and I want him in a death battle. Okay, let me say something. As much as I would like to see Jin vs. Ryu, sadly, it's not going to happen. Ryu has already been in a death battle, and lost. Death battle doesn't reuse fighters that died. So did Goku vs. Superman 2 never happen? With Goku returning despite being, you know, dead? Did Samus and Boba Fett not get revisited? Both had the loser return for a second match. Oh, but those are rematches, I hear you say. Alright, alright, fair, fair. I won't argue that these could have just been complete reboots. But what about Batman? In the 23rd episode of Death Battle, he lost to Spider-Man, but returned 13 episodes later to fight and win against Captain America. What about Shadow the Hedgehog? In the 12th episode of Death Battle, he lost to Vegeta, then returned in episode 63, which is a season 3 episode, to fight and lose against Mewtwo. Death Battle doesn't reuse dead fighters. Pfft, right. I haven't watched Death Battle in years and I knew this was full of bunk. And I think Jin should fight Yujiro. Cool, good for you. But Yang thinks otherwise, and this is Yang's list, not yours. So this does nothing to the video. I'm going to skip this one, because as I said, Jin vs. Ryu is not going to be a thing, so there's no need to talk about this one. Uh, excuse me? What was the last 30 seconds then? If you plan on just skipping over because it'll never happen, despite, you know, it could totally happen given that Death Battle doesn't give as many fucks about the dead as you may think, then why didn't you just skip over it? You know, maybe it's just poor wording. Maybe you actually meant that you were skipping the rest of the segment, but wording is vital if you're doing a text-based video. Number six, Adam Jensen from Do Sex versus Hayden Tenno from Dark Sector. Okay, I'm not going to talk about this one because I've never heard of these characters, but I'm going to let you watch this part. Well, I'm not. If you're not going to talk about it, then neither am I. I'm not going to pat out my own video because of your bullshit. Number 5, The Hulk from Marvel versus Broly from Dragon Ball. Not gonna happen. Gee, it's almost like that's not the point of Yang's list. But please, do go on. Yes, I know this was a big fight that everyone wanted to see. Trust me, I wanted this fight to happen too. But sadly, it's not because Hulk has been in a death battle with Doomsday. Azura is gonna fight Broly. We didn't get Broly versus Hulk, but we may get Azura versus Broly. Wait. Are you getting Azura vs Broly, or is this shit just speculation? Because either way, this doesn't inherently negate Yang's want to have a Hulk vs Broly death battle. And if it's just speculation, shut up, because that doesn't even hurt the chance of it happening to begin with. Oh, but Cartoon Fight Club in one hand and Melee already did this! Well, guess what? I want this to be a death battle. This is a matchup me and my friends have talked about since we saw the Broly movie. Both these monstrous beasts can single-handedly fight their universe's most powerful characters. Hell, Hulk is so powerful in his world breaker form, it took Marvel's version of Superman to even his power. I know Screwtack wants to do this as well, and I bet they're already calculating Broly's speed as you're watching this. The Hulk has had it rough in the versus shows being beaten by Doomsday and decapitated by Kratos. It's time for the Hulk to come back and claim his crown as the Beast of America and kick Broly's Super Saiyan ass. <laughs> Hulk would never win in a fight against Broly. <laughs> Someone's fan of Dragon Ball Z, but that shit's none of my business. The worst part is, that's the end of part one, and you don't explain how Hulk would lose the battle to Broly. You just kind of leave it at, lol, Hulk get wrecked by Broly, and end the video. Fantastic, that totally argues against the idea of a Hulk versus Broly match. Totally. Well, since you're gonna move on to part two, so am I. Roll it! Number four, Boba Fett from Star Wars versus Prophet from Crisis. Okay, first of all, that'll never be a death battle. Yeah, okay. It's such a shame that Yang still wants it, and despite the fact that it may not happen, it's totally meaningless, huh? I'm skipping past your next point because, hooray, you debunked something Yang said. Unfortunately, it doesn't really do anything in regard to them wanting Boba Fett versus Prophet, and you basically use the clip as a replacement for your own points, but it's still something, so good job. <laughs> Prophet has held his own against the Seth, which are predators on steroids. He hasn't only faced one of these monsters in a one-on-one -on -one scenario either. He's fought squads and even bigger ones. I don't know that much about Prophet, and I just started playing his game, so 
Yeah. Everybody. I'm still underaged. I know he's already faced the Predator in a DBX, and I know people have wanted that matchup since Season 2, but come on! Predator is like a bug compared to the things Prophet has faced. Well, Predator did fight the Xenomorphs before, and if you've seen the Aliens movies, they're no pushovers. Okay, but are the aliens in Alien vs. Predator as strong or stronger than the Cephalopods from Crisis? Because what was given to us was that the Predator is a cakewalk compared to the Ceph. And unless you can prove that the Xenomorph is as strong or stronger than the Cephalopods, this information does jack shit to the original video and Yang's original statement of Boba Fett would be a more interesting matchup still holds. He needs a challenge, and there's no one better than Boba Fett. Commander Shepard, the meta, Predator. Like it or not, Predator vs. Prophet is going to happen. Oh, great wisdom from the future. Tell me how my next commentary is going to end. Will it end in a shitstorm or a flaming shitstorm? Best friend? Number 3, the Arbiter from Halo versus the Predator from Predator. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about this one because I've never heard of Arbiter. I'm just gonna let you watch this part. And again, I'm not. Fuck you. Number 2, Oni from Street Fighter versus Onaga from Mortal Kombat. Who is that? I've played Mortal Kombat and I've never seen that guy before. Mortal Kombat Deception is the final boss and playable in Armageddon. But did you really just butt in to say that you've never heard of Onaga? Why? What purpose does it hold? What did this add? Why do we need to know that you've never played Deception or Armageddon? Why are we still sitting here watching you fumble about trying to do a commentary on someone's wish list concerning death battle? Why am I still here? Am I still dead inside? Well, I think we all know the answer to that one. We need a battle between Street Fighters and Mortal Kombat's most powerful characters. Oni and Onaga are two of the most powerful characters in fighting games. These guys make Jin from Tekken and Akuma look like a bunch of bitches with their intimidation and raw power. These two have the strength to take on almost all of their universe's fighters. I'm surprised these two haven't been in a death battle yet. They're the most powerful characters and yet they haven't fought. If they won't fight each other, at least have them in death battle. Do it, Ben and Chad! I don't know who the fuck Onaga is, but that would be a cool battle. Alright, last one. Let's hope it's a good one. I'll be okay. I promise. I'm totally not dying. More on the inside. <laughs> Number one, Cinder from Ruby vs. The Meta from Red vs. Blue. What the fuck? Out of all the better matchups for Cinder, you picked the fucking Meta? He was already in a death battle. I know the Red vs. Blue and Ruby debate, but they have nothing else in common. And that matters why? It's a death battle that they want to see. Just because there are better picks to go against Cinder, it doesn't change the fact that Yang wants Cinder vs. Meta. Just because they virtually have nothing in common except Ruby vs. Red vs. Blue, it doesn't change the fact that Yang still wants Cinder vs. Meta. Just because you don't want it, it doesn't change the fact that Yang still wants Cinder vs. Meta. Kindly, step off of Yang's dick with your own opinion. That has been all your video is. Just, oh, this will never happen. Oh, this will never happen. Oh, Death Battle has already done this character. Holy fucking crap, I have only ever seen this kind of blatant not trying from new commentators covering bandwagons. Yang's list is a top 8 death battle characters they want to see, not top 8 death battles that they think are going to 100% happen. Shut up. And? And? The best part about this whole clusterfuck is? Yang goes on to explain that the reason that they want to see Cinder vs. the meta is because they're both villains whose entire focus in their respective series is power. Both are very durable, almost unkillable fighters who had fought even after getting hammered in, and even implies that he'd love to see what amounts to science fiction vs. fantasy. How is that so hard to get through your thick skull? Oh, but it's just a response. Oh? Really now, is that why it's structured like a commentary? Trying your damn hardest to debunk the points that Yang pulled up for each of the death battles that they wanted to see? You did that successfully once, and then continued to gnaw on your arm the rest of the video. And that's not even mentioning your useless padding. You proved pretty early on that you were able, and willing, to skip segments of the video that you had nothing to say in response to. But then give up on that entirely as you leave in long segments that you, by your own words, had nothing to say in response to. Do you just enjoy making videos that are chores to sit through, or is this the first one? Because if it's the former, stop that. And if it's the latter, do yourself a favor and the next time you cover a video regarding something like this, cut out areas you have nothing to say towards. It may cut down the length of your videos, but it'll also cut out sections that you don't need. Also, shortly after a cutoff, he plays this. What? That comes from just a robot's video on me. That guy watched that video. It all comes full circle. Anyway, see you guys next time.